Hi my beauty junkies, Daw, subbies, and my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Um, I just want to say that I do apologize that I haven't made a video in a couple days. I just recently had a family member to pass away and it really hit me hard and stuff. So I'm trying to gather myself up because I know I still got to do my videos for y'all and me making my videos is kind of like... Uh, my coping method and <laughs> it helps me to cope with things and I just enjoy it and um, I know making a video and getting back into it is gonna kind of help me get over it but it's still hard and it still hurts but um I gotta do I gotta deal with it the best way that I know how to <laughs> so um this is just going to be a quick video I pre-recorded it and then I didn't get to finish it so now I am here to actually finish it and put everything together it is a DIY project do it yourself um, I've been looking for a kind of medium sized vintage dresser to go in my office slash closet and I found one, but it was not the correct color, so guess what? I had to turn it into my own thing. So if you have any questions, concerns, or if you want to know about details or anything like that, just let me know. Comment down below. Also, my giveaway is ending tonight at 12 o'clock, so if you haven't had a chance to check it out, make sure you go do that now. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome, and I'm sorry about the intro, but I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, if you like this video and you want to see more DIY projects, just definitely thumbs up and comment down below. All right, till next time, peace, love, and happiness. This is going to be a do-it-yourself project. I don't know if y'all can really see this, but I found this dresser right here at the thrift store. It's right there for 59 freaking dollars. Do y'all see that? $59. I am going to be putting this in my beauty room slash closet um, because I need a bigger dresser to be able to put my stuff in. And, yeah, I just want to change my room around and add something else. So, I found this for $59. It's a pretty good size. So, I can really fix it up. And I've been looking for dressers. And most of the dressers that I found, like this, um, already styled up and everything, they run anywhere between $200 to almost $800, the kinds that I wanted. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to the thrift store, like I always do, and I'm going to find a dresser that that I can DIY do it myself <laughs> so yes um about this right here at Walmart because I'm going to lay it down in my garage as y'all see my husband's already got oil stain but I am going to lay this down in my garage and end up taking each of these shells out and painting spray painting this black and I just got these spray cans right here from Walmart and it's fast dry so I hope it stands up to its name <laughs> And honestly, only paid 98 cents. So this was $2.14, and then these were 98 cents, and that is it. So I'm about to get started and show y'all each process. All right. Alrighty, so here is the next step if you see. I have recently finished painting it, well, spray painting it all black. At first, it was brown. And that is it. And I think um, the tomorrow I'm going to find different knobs, if you can see, right there to change them. Now it is time to fix it up there and fix all that. Ta-da! So this is the finishing look of the dresser that I made. As you see, it is all black. Um, I haven't had a chance to change the knobs yet, but the knobs are going to be changed. So yes, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but um, I do know the knobs are going to be changed. I think I'm going to change them in gold and silver, kind of mixed in. But um, let's just get a close view. This is everything up here that I decide to fix it up with and um I love the skeleton I can't get rid of it I know it's like a Halloween thing but I just love it so I figured it would go good with that then my vintage candle holder and it has a candle in there but that one is not lit 
then yes, I am grown. So if I want to do some work in my office slash closet, then I can have a beautiful glass wine, gla a cup of wine, however you want to put it. Um, the frame is put up. I'm waiting for one of my pictures to get finished because that's coming out and a picture is going to be in there. <laughs> Then I just have my Paris bag back there. I have my Michael Kors shades and my Vogue shades. Then I have a soy birthday candle um, that I got for my birthday about two years ago. Then I got this box back there of Marilyn Monroe. And it does have my clip-in extensions in there. <clears throat> then I have a vintage thrifted bag that I found. Then like my Paris picture, which I love. Then I have my Misty R Toilette um, Pink from Victoria's Secret. My J'adore. This one has been discontinued though because that is an old one. Then I have my Dior nail polishes. I have a beautiful frame of Jennifer Aniston. 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 Yes. Love it. This was from Bazaar if I'm not mistaken. I want to say it was... Ooh, like a 2000 and something issue. I think a 2001 issue, if I'm not mistaken. But yes. Then um, I just have this stand right here that my mother-in-law got me. And it's just got some rings up there. But yes. And I didn't have a place to go up there because I was like, oh, it's kind of like just white up there. So I just decided to do like my old vintage hats up there. I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep it like that. But they are like that for right now. But yes, that is the overview. You like my new purse back there? I got it for a major awesome deal. It is a Carlos Santana. It was originally, I want to say, $100 at Macy's. If you like nice bags and you want a good or good bag and you haven't been able to find one at a thrift store, I did find some good bags at a thrift store, but that is going to be in a separate video. <laughs> But um, I found this bag right here after discounts and everything online. I basically got that bag right there for $30. So that was an awesome deal. But anyways, this is my do-it-yourself project. The dresser, it once was brown. And now it is like a rustic chalkboard black, which I love it. And I think it just, it's awesome. I really like it. Yes, I do. So now all I have to do is just add my knobs and it's good to go. So if you like and you want to see more do-it-yourself projects, just definitely thumbs up down below. All right, till next time, peace, love, and happiness.